Welcome to the DevOps Speakeasy. My name is Stephen Chen, and I'm joined by Liron, who is the, one of the co-founders of Rookout. How are you doing, Liron? Good. How are you? Very good. Um, and we're going to chat a little bit about how you instrument your cloud-native application. So, as a as a developer, what sort of things should you be doing with your with your code base? So, when you when you think about how do you uh, observe your software, then you, besides taking into account tracing and logging and metrics, besides giving providing you with the systems to visualize and inspect all of those, you have to make sure that you can you are going to add those into your code. Uh, in every significant entry point to do the app, in every po point where you make a significant business decision, you have to record those, be it in metrics, logs, or traces. And that's an iterative process. Okay, and what, what are some examples you see where maybe folks do um, make mistakes in how they're doing logging, or maybe um, examples where folks either aren't logging enough information or they're logging too much information? So I would say the most classical uh, problem these days is uh, logging FOMO. People are being so afraid that they won't have the data they need when they need it, that they're just trying to log everything, I see. and they end up paying so much money for compute, for storage, for processing, for uh, logging aggregation services. It can be Splunk or others. And maybe even slowing down their application if they're like excessively logging. Yeah, they're slowing down their application. They're creating potential performance bottlenecks. And they're wasting all of their time and money and often are in the efforts in getting the software to record itself instead of just doing its job. Okay. Um, and then once, once you've established like good logging practices and you're doing an iterative process where you're improving your logs, um, how, do, how do people leverage the logs? Let's say it's coming from different systems or um, you have logs coming from multiple sources. How do you actually manage all those log files? So uh, the best practice is to have a uh, structured logging and generate lo logs as JSON files, uh, JSON elements, and provide all the metadata, service name, environment, and so on into the log. And then when you load it into a structured uh, logging search, such as Elasticsearch, you can iterate, go through it with Kibana, query it, and get the data you need. OK, and then that allows you to quickly find where there's, where there's an issue. You can actually search through your logs. You can find specific um, yeah. examples of problems or exceptions or things which are being reported. How about for, for continuous monitoring? If you want to know when there's a serious issue and you want to have flags or production issues raised. So metrics is usually the best place to get started with continuous monitoring, keeping track of the number of requests you're seeing, the success rate, the latency. That's the basic. And you want to measure that for every endpoint separately so that you'll be able to detect minute problems as they occur. A single endpoint malfunctioning might be a huge impact for your application. Um, and with newer technologies, like a lot of folks are doing um, large scale cluster deployments with Kubernetes or other cloud native technologies, how does this make um, the challenges of logging, the complexity of logging so more difficult? In some cases, you want to be able to trace the system end to end. And that's where context propagation, tracing, open tracing, and so on come into play. But as it we discussed a lot during the observability conference today, yesterday, tracing is hard. It's hard to get right, it's hard to deploy, and it's even harder to analyze traces and understand what they mean. So while they are definitely an important part in every organization toolbox, they shouldn't be the one to conquer all, as they are the hardest to deploy, they are the hardest to maintain, they cost the most money, and they can be very tricky to get value out of. So for most companies, most organizations, start out with logs, metrics, and only move into tracing when you really need them and for the, where they do what they do best. Okay, so um, any, any tips for folks who are getting started with refactoring their logging framework on specific CNCF projects or technologies that they should start investigating? So you should start out with getting the a logging library for your framework language. It can be log4j for Java, it can be Winston for Node, or a structured logging for Python. And then you want those, configure those to send the logs out there to a file or to a UDP server or whatnot, and load it using a structured service into whatever logging aggregation service you're using. And you have to keep in mind that it's not about, about adding logs, it's also about modifying logs, removing them, uh, there's a lot of hygiene 
a lot of day-to-day -day care caretaking unless you want uh, and if not you're gonna find yourself with too much logs low quality logs and so on okay no, that sounds good um, and so you're here you're here at KubeCon for the week um, I think you were also doing some other conferences while you're visiting the US so anything which you see like um, either trending technologies or things which are coming out of the the cloud native ecosystem that you're excited about uh, I think we're seeing a lot of maturation around uh, monitoring cloud native technologies we on the one hand we're seeing we're bringing tracing to maturation it's becoming easier to get use it and deploy it and uh, there were a few very interesting talks yesterday about what more can we do with tracing on the other hand, I think people have become to realize that tracing is kind of a has been overhyped yeah. and there are many cases where it's not the right solution or not the easiest solution and I think that we are also seeing a trend of increasing focus on instrumentation itself, both with open tracing and auto instrumentation and with other tools such as Rookout that allow you to instantly instrument without going through uh, development cycles and CI CD cycles. Okay, very cool. So um, thanks very much for doing this interview at KubeCon. It's been great chatting with you about um, the best practices for instrumenting your cloud native application. And um, you can watch more interviews on the DevOps Speakeasy and find out more about Rookout um, and Liron on the, um, the links on the much. site. Thank you very much.